It's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I'm Stoner. There's Harry. There's Moose. There's the Monkey Man. There's Coffee. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh, it tastes good, man. Chilly out there. We got snow showers going on this Sunday. Like I said, I'm Stoner. It's Stoner Sash Box. Uh, first off, I want to thank all my brand new subscribers. I can't name you by name because I don't remember. So, anyway, um, thank you all anyway, man. It's great. Uh, I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, every subscription is a uh, notch on the bedpost or something like that. Uh, I went to Rizzo's this morning, and I want to get a, give a shout out. To, to Smokes and Mark, they happened to meet, and I kid you not, they happened to meet Jim Neighbors and Crystal Gale today at Rizzo's. Yeah. Go to my um, Facebook page, and you will see a photo of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, and they think I'm strange. I'm just joking, man. They did one of these things here, you know. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I went to Rizzo's, and uh, this is, I got a little stack of records, and all these were like a buck a piece at Rizzo's. Um, I've seen a lot of guys showing this. Uh, and it was a buck. I mean, what the heck? Let's split here. Let's split there. Ricky Lee Jones. He's got Chucky's in Love, and that's the only song that I know about it. Um, I mean, everybody I've, I've, I've seen, shown this, has said it's a good album, so. Why not? For a buck? Why not? I'll find that for myself. And I can't believe I saw this. This is Gilda Radner, live from New York. He was definitely the star of Saturday Night Live. And this has one of my favorite. <laughs> oh, I love this song. Let's talk dirty to the animals. <laughs> and hopefully this is the unedited version. Which is hilarious as hell. Uh, it's just, I love Gilda. I think everybody loves Gilda. You know? Anyway. Uh, I like this guy. I've always liked this guy. O.C. Smith. Hickory Holler Revisited. Get that shitty thing off there. The back. It's on, I believe, Harmony. Oh, oh yeah. Might be a two eye. I didn't even look. Probably should have. Uh, Son of a Hickory Holler Tramp. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Main Street Mission. By the time I get to Phoenix. Along a black limousine. The house next door. Little green apples. Uh, take time to know her. Honey, I miss you. Oh, God, I hate that song. I hate that song. Uh, the Best Man and Seven Days, which is a good thing. I imagine this is a two eye Columbia. Because that looks it. I guess you'll never know. This is on it really tight, man. Alright. Remember me last remember last week when I uh Got those three albums that were out of the jackets and just in the sleeves and the protective bags. And one was uh, Donovan in concert. And I told you I couldn't find the jacket. I dug here, dug there. I went all the place, couldn't find it. Well, I guess why I found it today. I found it today. It looks like crap, but it's the jacket. And it's split. I don't care. I can tape that. That's no big deal. 
but uh yeah i finally got it now so mike was going to charge me for it and i wouldn't let him sorry mike ain't gonna charge me a buck for a piece of paper man for something i already bought all right this here we go al cooper this is uh it's like an old radio it's got a w uh gbc on here uh but al cooper uh new york city you're a woman no idea how good it is or how bad it is it's al cooper it can't be that bad On the inside gatefold Demonstration not for sale, but it does have a sticker on it saying demonstration not for sale. That's cool. I don't care. It was a buck. Now this, uh, this, this, this next one, um, if there's any aficionados of uh, 60s country and western uh correct me if i'm wrong on this very next one this is red lynn sings i think i think this is her first album i think i'm not 100 percent sure i'm not 100 percent sure it's on decca looks really good too I'm not, I'm sure, because I haven't done my Discogs thing yet, but, yeah, I mean, I hope it is, I really do hope it is, there we go, yeah, Loretta Lynn sings, and Alan, who owned this before, thank you, that's got to be your first one, pretty close to it. Because I noticed on the bottom, they uh, they don't have they have the advertise other albums, but I don't see anything by her. You know, it says full stereo. And L Loretta's still out there, man. She's still kicking. I consider her the queen of country and western. Not country, country and western. And lastly, um, this is uh, Chicago Live at Carnegie Hall, uh, volumes three and four. A little split, not the best shape, but man, what the hell? It was a buck. Uh, I'm sure, vinyl. Yeah, it's Jack is not in great shape. Not at all. I know this came in a big box set. So. Big box. I didn't see the big box. But I found this, and this has got some good stuff on it. Mother low down. And I, it's... What can I say, man? You know, maybe someday I'll get the rest of it. I don't know. I'm not a big, big Chicago fan, but I do like their very first album. It's actually the best. Uh, yeah, you know, what the heck. And I left there. I did go to Rizzo's. He's, hopefully you saw the video, which was previous, that I posted. Uh, back in Rizzo's um, area in the antique shop. Um, I went back there, and I I didn't feel like, I dug a little bit, but uh, it was later, and my back was killing me, you know, so I spent from 5.30 until 8 o'clock digging and stuff in the uh, flea market area, and then went back to the back, and, and my back was hurting from standing all the time, so. I didn't get anything back there. I left and uh, 
went to a street of shops in Lewisburg, which is about a what, 10 minute drive, not that far. Um, I thought I'd check out a few um, booths there that I knew about. And um, places weren't brightly lit. I had time, had really a hard time to see. Because my back was hurting. And also, the prices were kind of outrageous uh, on some of the stuff. Uh, eight bucks, something I could easily get for a dollar. Um, and there were just as the sh same condition as the ones that Rizzo has. So, so I walked around a little bit. And um, I found a couple things. Uh, I found a, a CD and I found a uh, cassette. And about three, maybe four albums. I think three albums. I'll show you. Reasonable, reasonably part, reasonably priced. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I've been up since four. <clears throat> up since four, I went to bed about twelve, twelve thirty. After watching, uh, what was the movie we watched? Burnt Offerings, with uh, Betty Davis, Karen Black. Uh, British Meredith and Oliver Reed. Good freaking movie. Very good movie. Uh, but yeah, I got up at 4 o'clock and I was out by 4.30, something like that. So, but I should already got man. Uh, on cassette, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers let me up. I've had enough. I do not believe I have this on any format except cassette right now. So that is cool. That's that. Clear case. Which I believe. And I think means it's like an original release. It could be. A club edition. I don't think so. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Not a club edition. That is cool. It's Tom Petty man. I'm going to get it. You know, if, it's, if I don't have it I'm going to get it. It's Tom Petty. Uh, I have this on uh, vinyl, I have this on uh, cassette, and now I have this on CD. That's what it's called, Crest of the Knave. Now, I can say I have this on cassette and vinyl, but there is a song on this that is on neither one of those formats. It's a song called Dogs in the Mid Winter. I'm listening to this in the car on the way home, and uh, right after, what was that song? Right after, um, she said she was a dancer, which is a great tune, absolutely great tune. Um, all of a sudden, I heard a song that I did not know, I had never heard before. It was Dogs in the Midwinter by Tall. Very cool. I like this. Oh, it features a pre previously unreleased track. See, I was right. You can't fool this old white man. Well, you can, but, you know. It's not that easy, man. Uh, these next ones I found at another vendor. Well, I checked on these albums where I found the, the, the tall CD. Um, and I want you to check out the price on this. This is the Blues Magoos. Never going back to Georgia. And this is in really good shape, man. That's the price I paid for it. And it looks really good. Let me get it out of here real quick. Hopefully this one will be easier than the last one. Yes, it was. Open her up. Okay, hold on a minute. Oh, okay, I think here. Back, I'm not sure I did. I think and it's split, but I don't care about that. And ABC, I don't see hardly anything on this thing, man. Very cool, white box can't beat that with a stick. Uh, the next one is a, a radio copy, and it is also, I believe, a DJ copy. Or a promo copy. We'll find out in a second. I didn't look at it. 
I should have. Uh, it's stamped, so it's for a radio station. In uh, Eastern Pennsylvania, it's WJRH. This is uh, Y Y Coder or Y Cooter, excuse me, Roy 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 Cooter. <laughs> Roy Cooter, borderline. Uh, yeah, let's get all that messy stuff on it. But I tell you, man, the vinyl looks really good. I mean, it looks really, really good. It may be played at once. That's just about it. I think I'll get banned for having a new showing a female butt. Nah, I don't care. Let's go. And the last one. Focus, moving waves. Um, I paid four bucks for this. And yeah, let's go with it. Let's get it out. Yeah, it's on Sire. Yeah, it's on Sire. And I don't think I have this. And if I do, it's pretty pretty bad shape, man. Yeah, it looks really good. At least in this light, it looks good. And I paid what? What was it? I paid for this one here. My cooler. I paid two bucks for the right cooler. Yeah. yeah, that's not too bad. This isn't that bad a haul for a Sunday. Well, that's it, man. Cheers to everybody out there. Today's beverage is bull piss. Puts hair in your tongue, man. Oh, anyway. Uh, I did get a, a couple, three more albums I got. That I'm not going to show because they're not mine. I get them for uh, a friend. And they're going to be a VCLT. Um, I found a few more by, uh, that just person wanted but uh this guy's one is guy wanted a lot more than i was going to going to pay uh five six bucks a piece um sorry man i have had the extra cash I already got for you uh, but yeah that's it that's all for this sunday so uh there's nothing else to say nothing else to do except this is harry there's a moose, there's a monkey man, and I'll get a quick shout out to Basil. Uh, I'm going to do what I can with uh, your re request to a special uh, video. Um, like, I, like I told you, it's just so in a freaking disarray. I got stuff here and there. I got to dig through stuff really quick, or dig through stuff. Uh, and find those albums that you were talking about and then I'll show them okay yeah, maybe we'll start a thread okay well from all of us to all of you catch you later